cut a, cut a hole large enough to fit your hand into. I'm not using anything really fancy in terms of a knife here. It's just a run-of-the-mill kitchen knife. You could get a fancy fancy kit from the store, but why bother if you already have these tools laying around? So once the hole has been cut out, it's a matter of pulling pulling the, the piece off and then scooping out the seeds. You know, start with your hands. You use a spoon, a um, pumpkin scoop. I'm actually using a, a gardening tool. It's a, called a soil scoop. Put that into your bucket and save that for later for roasting. It's very important to scoop this clean for two reasons. First reason being you, you want a nice smooth surface so the, the light reflects off of the inside, bounces around and gives you a nice nice glow. And the other reason being you want to you get all this gunk out so things, bugs, or mold, bacteria don't get in there and start growing or living. Now, if you're um, drawing onto the pumpkin or using a pattern, you're going to want to make sure that the, the face or the part you're putting the pattern onto or drawing upon is nice and clean and dry. <laughs> Once you've, you've printed it off on your computer, you're going to attach it to the pumpkin. Today I'm demonstrating how to use your standard office stapler. As I'm stapling the paper down in areas that are going to be cut out. That's sort of a minor detail, but this way, when I cut it out, there's no, there's no um, staple marks on the rest of the pumpkin. Next step would be to transfer this pattern to the pumpkin. Dots along the line, I'm piercing through the paper into the pumpkin. I'm going to carefully remove all the staples. I'll re remove the pattern to see a series of dots. Take a pencil or a marker and actually connect the dots and draw it out so it's easier to see the shape. <laughs> insert my knife right into the flesh here and I'm using a gentle using a somewhat of a sawing motion here's a little tip cut cut the thing up into little pieces so it's easier to, to remove as opposed to trying to pull the whole shape out if you, if you need to poke and prod poke it from the inside out scoop this pumpkin. Terrible scooping job. I'm going to get the basic shape out. I'll go back in later and, and refine these, these cuts. I'm going to start in the center of the design and work your way outward. And that, that'll help you preserve the integrity of the design. It'll, it'll help prevent the design from, from falling apart as you cut. Always point the knife towards the center of the pumpkin. Make sure cuts are parallel to each other as you're as you're making your cuts, that way you won't lose a crucial part of the design. God, I hope this looks like whatever it's supposed to look like. Howden is a um, variety mainly grown, grown mainly for um, pumpkin carving. It's got a nice thick shell. The skin's nice and thick. It's always got a nice color. Um, the flesh is also very thick. This is what I look like before I have any coffee. So it lasts longer. It's not the best eating pumpkin. But in terms of pumpkin carving, the Howden's probably the best. Yeah, I'm just opening up his mouth a little bit so light will shine through. Yeah, I think I've done all I can do right now. I think the next thing we need to do is light it up. <laughs> 